It's Sunday morning with Mark Sainsbury. OK, it's time now to talk uh, science, or more particularly nanotechnology, with uh, Dr Michelle Dickinson, a Professor of Chemical and Materials Engineering. Oh, Professor, have I, have I just promoted you? You just made me sound very old. Yeah, no, ah. you promoted me. <laughs> I'm a lonely senior lecturer who's very happy in her position. Okay, now to a lonely senior lecturer at Auckland University, Dr. Michelle Dickinson. Doesn't have quite the same ring to it anyway. <laughs> um, also known as Nano Girl. Just Google Nano Girl and you'll find out what she's been up to, all sorts of stuff. And of course, um, last weekend you were helping kids make robots. Mm-hmm. All part of You do a lot of that stuff, eh? Hey? I do. So that's part of my charity called OMG Tech, where we go into low decile schools and teach them how to code, 3D print, and build robots. But uh, this weekend is exciting stuff for me. I always get excited when I read all the nano news that's coming out. And there's a new piece of research that came out this week. And the paper published is called, I love this, Nano Pattern Textile Based Wearable Triber Electric Nano Generator. Oh, yes, I know it. I get it. I, I subscribe. <laughs> I love how a scientist used the most ridiculously long words to describe something. Basically, these scientists have invented a jacket that charges by you moving so you can power devices. So hang on, so is this like is it like like static electricity, that sort of thing or it's exactly that. So the word triboelectric is the key one here. Tribo comes from the Greek for rubbing or friction and you know what electricity is. So basically the rubbing together of the weave in the fabric because you're moving, because you're wearing a jacket, for example, can create electricity which can power devices. But you see, how can you, I can, I, I can, I'm surprising I can get this because, you know, it's like when you walk along on the carpet, you know, and you see somebody, your mates come in, you touch them and give them a shock or you, you'll get a shock yourself. Exactly. So how do you yep. store it? How, how do you stop, if you're doing that and you're moving, I can get that, and that's creating the electrical charge. How do you stop it discharging when you make contact with something and, it, and instead it's, because it must have to be sort of stored, doesn't it? Yep, so they've created this little tiny battery pack that stores it, that goes into the back of this jacket. And by they, I'm talking about two different universities here. There's Sun Kwan Kwan University in Korea and the Australian Institute for Innovative Materials. So a great collaboration going on here where they've got a little battery pack and they've built this jacket and they've put a few things into this jacket. So first of all, they've put six LED lights in there and these LED lights power up um, as a cyclist and a cycle commuter. I'm really excited about this because I would love some cycle clothing. I'm already moving. I'm riding my bike that lights up so people can see me in the dark. That would be fantastic. Second of all, they put in one of these, you know, if you have a keyless entry car and so you can get to your car and it picks up that you are there and basically opens the door for you. Well, that takes a little bit of current. So what it does is it's put one of these keyless entries into the jacket. So all you need to do is wear the jacket. It's self-powered and now you can get into your car and drive it, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, And they also put an LCD screen onto the jacket. Not quite sure why you would need that, but um, managed to do an LCD too. Powered it all just by the movement. And this wasn't lots of movement. I mean, the person wearing it wasn't running around. They were just moving like you normally would. So just waving your arms around when you're talking and just moving from um, stance to stance. You don't even have to be walking to do this. And the reason being is because of nanotechnology, obviously. Um, Basically, they take your fabric, so cotton or whatever you're, Um, clothing is made out of and they coat it with a tiny layer of silver and then they grow zinc oxide vertical nano rods on there now i do this in my lab and it's quite an easy process to grow zinc oxide nano rods it's just a little chemical experiment that you do you throw it into a fluid add a bit of electricity and, and that's easy so this has been done before and the big problem was these things rub off and so these jackets weren't lasting through your wash And so the clever thing about this study is that they've put on top of that something called polydimethylsiloxane. A scientist just called it PDMS for short. It's a plastic, basically, and they nanopatterned that on top of the zinc nanorods to protect them, yet they still kept their charge. So now this jacket, what makes it different is you can wash it and it's very robust and these little nanorods aren't falling or rubbing off. And so they made this jacket and people wore it and they were able to Power different devices actually has an output voltage of 120 volts and a current of 65 microamps, which is 
pretty awesome, just from kind of goofing around and wearing clothes. Hey, tell me what's pretty awesome is the Australian Institute for Innovative Materials. <laughs> yeah, I know. Out in Wollongong, apparently. So um, not too far from us, I guess. And, and it sounds like a great place. I'm going to see if I can go visit and geek out at what they're building over there. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that you haven't been over there already. <laughs> and, I, and I was also thinking about these LCD screens. LCD mm. as opposed to LED. Um, is that so you're going to have a little like, you know, hi, I'm Michelle on your sort of, on your jacket? Is it like a little... I could be. Or you know tag? what? If I could say, if I could just say I'm turning left or I'm turning right so the car's behind me, you know what I'm doing when oh, I click on the dot. You could have like a big yes, yes. Could do. Yeah. Or, or, you know, don't drive so close. Or yeah, any back of off. Any, anybody who cycles knows what you would love to say to drivers sometimes when you're a cycle commuter. So you're a kite surfer and a cycler. Cheap as you're an over, you're an over I, um, I try and use um, natural power, so I'm a sustainable junkie, and I try and not use my car as much as possible and get there through other natural means. Oh, you've got a car? I do have a car. It sits on my driveway most God, of the time. Killing the planet. Feeling. You're so selfish. <laughs> hey, good on you. Hey, look, love you to it again, Michelle. Uh, look forward to it, as we do every week. Um, that's Dr. Michelle Dickinson, of course, Nano Girl. Just Google Nano Girl. She's up to all sorts of stuff. And as I said, like last weekend, helping Deso One kids build robots. And a lot of her time, she puts into doing all sorts of stuff, including talking to us each week here on Radio Live.